Hi all, welcome to Heights to Fi. Today we are discussing more problems relating to rational numbers and representation and uh, also through number systems. Exercise discussed in textbook as 1.1 exercise 1.1 this is problem relating to number systems and uh, rational numbers first question is is 0 a rational number is 0 a rational number can you write it in the form of p by q can you write it in the form of p by q where p and q are integers once again the question is 0 a rational number can you write it in the form of p by q uh, where p and q are integers we can say that 0 is a rational number because we can represent 0 as a ratio or fraction 0 by 1 0 by 2 0 by 3 0 by minus 3 any values will give result as 0 all this value or all these rational numbers generate result as 0 so we can say that we can represent 0 as a rational number can you write it in the form of p by q yes we can write it in the form of p by q where p is equal to 0 and q is equal to any integer value 0 is a rational number and we can write it in the form of p by q also. Second question. Find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. Between 3 and 4. Here we are going through the second method that we discussed in the previous video. There are two methods to find rational numbers between two values. Second one is the simplest method and that was um, further proceed in, in your textbook. So, take 3 and 4 other values and the value of r is equal to 6. r plus 1 is equal to 7. Then, x plus 3 in the form of 7. That is multiply numerator and denominator using 7. This is equal to 21 by 7. 3 into 7 divided by 7. We multiplied value 3 by r plus 1. And next value is 4. 4 into 7 by 7. Which is equal to 28 divided by 28 divided by 7. So the values we can rewrite it as 21 by 7 3 is written as 21 by 7 and B is written as 28 by 7 Then what are the 6 rational numbers in between 22 by 7 23 by 7 24 by 7 25 by 7 26 by 7 27 by 7 These are the 6 rational numbers present between 3 and 4 21 by 7 is equivalent to 3 and 28 by 7 is equivalent to 4. We rewrite 3 and 4 in the form 21 by 7 as this. Multiplied both the numerator and denominator using r plus 1. 21 plus 1, 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7. The numerator is same itself. Uh, we increment the value of first value by 1, 1 in the numerator section. Okay, next find 5 rational number. Next question is 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Here the values are 3 by 5, 4 by 5, r is equal to 5 because we have to find out 5 rational numbers, r plus 1 is equal to 6. So Multiply numerator and denominator of 3 by 5 using 6. 
so 3 into 6 divided by 5 into 6 which is equal to 18 by 30 second value 4 by 5 is equal to 4 by 4 into 6 divided by 5 into 6 which is equal to 24 divided by 30 24 divided by 30 and the first number is 3 by 5 and the last one is 24 by sorry 24 first number we re write it as 18 18 by 30 where 3 by 5 this is the 3 by 5 value equivalent value of 3 by 3 by 5 and this is equivalent value of 4 by 5 then what are what are the intermediate values 19 by 30 20 by 30 21 by 30 22 by 30 23 by 30 these are the intermediate values between or five rational numbers present in between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 these are equivalent to five rational numbers are 19 by 30 20 by 30 21 by 30 22 by 30 23 by 30 The last question discussed in the exercise is state whether the following statements are true or false. Your reasons for your answers. First statement given is every natural number is a whole number. Every natural number is a whole number. Is this true or not? Natural numbers consist of 1, 2, 3 etc. All numbers consist of 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So we can say that this is a the statement is true. All natural number is a whole number. And the second statement given is every integers is a whole number. Integer consists of numbers minus 2, minus 1, 0, and plus values. All numbers consists of only values 0, 1, 2. So we can say that this is false because whole numbers does not contain val negative values. So we can say that the statement is false. Third case, well, the third statement is every rational number is a whole number. Rational number consists of all ratios minus 2 by 3, 3 by 2, 0, 1, etc. The whole number consists of only values from 0, 1, 2, etc. So we can say that the statement is false because it can, rational numbers consist of fractions like this. All numbers just don't contain values like that. So we can say that the statement is false. Today we discussed about rational number, mainly rational numbers and its features. We discussed about two questions to how to find your rational numbers between two values. And some related questions also. On next class, we proceed to the next topic. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share for new videos.